Hey guys, Matt here with Boris Campers in Denver, Colorado. Uh, we're gonna do a walkthrough video on the 2021 Boreas XT. We've got a lot of great upgrades coming for this year, so let's get into it. All right guys, we're gonna start up front here. One of the biggest changes we made was a full chassis redesign. There was a couple reasons behind this. One of them was incorporating the Cruise Master products out of Australia. That will be their DO35 hitch coupler and the CRS2 independent trailing arm suspension. Another reason was overall towing performance with the consumer vehicle. You can see the front of this chassis actually drops down about two inches. That's going to give you a more level towing platform between the vehicle and the trailer without sacrificing ground clearance. Up front here we have the DO35 hitch coupler from Cruise Master. We're really impressed with this system already. It's certainly the simplest and easiest hookup that we've seen. And in addition to that, you got the integrated parking brake. That's gonna come standard on all camper models. For 2021, we've discontinued the MXT chassis version that allowed for the dirt bike or the two inch receiver on the tongue. We've now integrated that into a single chassis system across all of our models. So you'll have a two inch receiver or the option to add a dirt bike tray up front so bike trays, luggage racks, that's gonna fit most two inch accessories. Up front we have our storage toolbox. This has your uh, battery and solar charge controller in it. Uh, you can mount mountain bike trays up top. You can do luggage rack options up here as well. Uh, we've also added a lithium battery upgrade for this year. And you can see here, it's pre-wired for the portable ZAMP panel. Another cool upgrade for 2021 We've partnered with ZAMP for all of our solar products. So on the XT model, you'll be getting the ZAMP Obsidian panel standard. That's a 100 watt kit. We've been really impressed with it already. Of course, we're gonna pair that with the charge controller as well. And as I said earlier, the solar plug for a portable unit. For our cabin doors, we've moved to the Turn Overland teardrop doors. Uh, we've been really impressed with these already with both their quality and their security. Uh, one thing we really liked about it is it has a double latch system. So you shut it once, then you also give it an extra twist and that sucks that door in tight, making sure you have a watertight seal, as well as a integrated screen door. And this isn't just your standard screen, it's actually built out of stainless steel. Again, great for that security factor. As we move down the driver's side here of the Boreas XT, you'll see the fully integrated and welded roof rack system that comes standard on all of our models, along with the eight foot awning from 23.0. Right below that, you've got your porch light and you have your shore power plug-in. Right here next to the spare tire is your water fill for the 30 gallon water tank. And you can see the spare tire has moved from its standard location up front to the side. That was part of our chassis redesign and integration of a two inch receiver on all models. Moving into the cabin here, we're gonna show you the control center for the camper. Right here is your converter. So this runs your shore power. It's a built-in charger and tender and also has all the breakers for your 12 volt and 110 power. Uh, to the left of that is your digital Propex thermostat that runs the forced air furnace. Right below here, this is your master kill switch for the entire camper. You've got 110 uh, plug-ins here when you're on shore power. To the left of that is your dimmer switch for the lights. Below that, you've got USB power, battery gauge, and the cigarette style here. Up in the cabinet, you have your Propex furnace again. That's a 6500 BTUs. Keeps this camper toasty warm. Up above, we have the Max Air fan. We really like this system because it has both in and out. It has a reverse option to move air. It has also the built-in thermostat, so you can set it to 78 degrees and it'll kick on automatically. And with their hood design, it is an all-weather operation, which can certainly come in handy. Down below here, we have our four and a half inch memory foam mattress. This is custom made for this camper and is very comfortable. 
Uh, over your feet, you have a bunch of storage with overhead doors as well. So these are great for just throwing in the big duffel bags and getting out of town. All right, moving to the back of the camper here, we have our galley kitchen, one of my personal favorite parts of the camper. Uh, overhead here, you have your composite cabinets, stainless steel countertop. You will also have your power center here, so you've got one to 10 plug-ins when you're on shore power. Overhead dimming lights, both on the cabinet and on your door. Power center here with your water pump switch and battery gauge. The cabinets provide a ton of storage, pots, pans, and food, all with being in reach while you're cooking or plating up dinner. On the right-hand side here is the stainless steel pull-out sink and stove. So you have your two burner suburban stove here. You've got 7,500 BTUs per burner. Up above that is your stainless steel sink. This will run off your self-priming pump and a 30 gallon water tank. On the left hand side here is the Truma C60. Uh, this is another recent upgrade of ours. We've been really impressed with the efficiency and the quality coming out of Truma and we were able to fit that 60 liter version as opposed to our previous 50 liter. Once you're ready to break camp for the weekend, packing up the kitchen is super simple. Rolling everything back in, locking it into position, and before you know it, you're on the road. Off the rear of the camper, you have your two inch receiver hitch. This is rated to 300 pounds. You'll see your LED lights, that's your brake, turn, and reverse. Those are protected with a steel bash guard. On both sides of the camper, we have a 30 inch leveling jack. That's gonna give you plenty of ability to level on any type of terrain. Coming around to the passenger side of the camper, we have our 11 pound propane tank. This will run that Propex furnace for 35 hours straight. Up above here, we have our on-demand hot water system. So great for the showers after the dusty day on the trail, washing dishes in the kitchen. And another option we have available is the integrated shower room enclosure. Another cool feature that we added for 2021 was the Boreas branded mud flaps. This is standard on any of the 21 models, but they're also available for past year's models as well. Here we have our diamond plate fender steps more than beefy enough to be able to access the roof rack or your rooftop tent. No issues with support. Okay, onto our wheels, tires, and suspension. Standard on all our campers is the BF Goodrich All-Terrain Tire that is wrapped onto a Pro Comp wheel. And again, all campers come standard with electric brakes. One of the biggest upgrades we made for 2021 was partnering with Cruise Master Suspension out of Australia. Standard on all of our teardrops is going to be the CRS2 trailing arm suspension. This is a beefy coil dual shock system. We've been truly impressed with it in both the ride quality and the rebound control. Whether you're towing it down the highway or deep in the backcountry, you're going to really like this upgrade. All right, everyone, thanks for checking out this walkthrough video. Hopefully it was informative to you. If you do have questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us directly or your nearest dealer. You can also check us out on our website, YouTube, and social media.